You ever seen a skate park that has a blue painted surface? I know I haven't, and I've been to a ton of skate parks. My name is Wesley Bauer, and welcome to another episode of Skate Park Showcase. Today I am in beautiful, sunny central Florida. It's blazing out here. The blue concrete is only where it begins. It gets even weirder. Let's check it out. Before we get into this episode, real quick, just let me go over a few things. There have been some massive changes since the last time I came here. I came here twice, and just within a span of a couple of months, some big changes happened. So I'm gonna go over those real quick before we get into this. I came here one time and tried the lights out. There's a knob that you turn and they did not come on. Well, tonight, they're working. The lights aren't amazing, they're a little bit dim and there's all, they're only on one side of the park, so it does cast a bit of a harsh shadow. It's an issue, but hey, it's better than nothing. You can actually skate out here at night. And this little section over here, all of the ramp surfacing was completely destroyed. It was all chipped up, there were holes all in it, and I was trying to skate it and I couldn't do hardly anything. It was a, a huge annoyance. And I come out here, I'm just passing through, stopped by, and boom, all this stuff's fixed. So that's pretty dope. Anyway, let's get into this episode and talk a little bit about what this park has to offer. When you first roll up, you're gonna notice that it is very blue. <laughs> It's a nice wide open space and the concrete is painted blue. Why it's blue, I have no idea, but it's pretty interesting to say the least. Doesn't really serve any form or function. I guess maybe it can smooth out a little bit of the rough areas because some of it is kind of rough, but it's just, it's blue. You'll notice that there's not a whole lot out here. There's just a couple of small things here and there and then two bigger objects. So let's break down the layout. I'd say you basically have three sections. There is the mini ramp, which is a great size for beginner and advanced alike. There is a fun box section, and then a couple of flat ground obstacles sporadically throughout the park. Let's go over the flat ground first. There are a couple of rails on one side. One's a low, chill, round rail. I don't really like the edges of it, how it curves out, and it was crazy waxed up when I skated it, but it's just your basic round rail, nothing super special. Um, it's solid and easy to skate. There's a crazy kink trail, one of the highest kink trails I've ever seen, or the largest in small to height ratio I've ever seen. It's super tall on one side, and the other side's pretty normal, kind of low. Oh man, it's crazy tall. I don't know why it's so tall. Great for BMXers. I just messed around on it, it was kind of fun. There are two little manual pad boxes. When I first came out here, they were pretty much unskatable, but now they're skatable, and the locals out here have got them set up like a little manual pad. So super easy to skate, nice and chill, great for learning tricks on. And then we have the rails on the other side, and these are pretty unique. So they are arc rails. The first one that we'll talk about is the skateboard rail. It's basically in the shape of a skateboard, so it's kind of weird. It's just like your regular basic round rail where that has like a little extension on it that's kind of like the tail of a skateboard. Kind of fun, kind of interesting. Don't come across that very often. And then we have what I'm gonna call the Y rail. It's probably the most unique thing out here. I've never seen anything like this before. It's made by American Ramp Company, and it's just very strange, very odd thing. It's kind of fun, kind of cool. I actually was able to do more on it than I thought I would be able to. When I first came up to it, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything on this. It's definitely fun to just get experimental with. Next, we have the mini ramp. This is a solid mini ramp. I believe it is also manufactured by Arc. It is metal, a little bit slick, but not too bad. The problem with metal in Florida is that it can get pretty hot, 
especially if the paint starts to come up. And some nights in Florida where they're getting really humid, metal ramps can become slick. But beside that, this ramp is perfectly built. The transition is super nice. It's got a nice long flat on it and the coping sticks out perfectly. Solidly built and probably the newest thing out here. It is four foot high on the main section and then there is an extension that on both sides that makes it five foot high. Super fun ramp. I could skate this thing all day. Four foot mini ramps are like my favorite type of mini ramps and having that extension there makes it even cooler. All right, and lastly, we're gonna talk about this random weird thing that I'm sitting on, the fun box. The fun box feels really out of place. Um, it is a Woodward manufactured fun box. I think it was a piece of a larger one and maybe that one got destroyed and they some the city somehow got this and just put it here. Like I said before, it was in terrible condition the first time I came out, came out here and I was trying to do some stuff on it, like do some tricks off the ledge, but it was just so rough on the top that I was struggling really badly. I came out here today and now it's all fixed. So I was able to skate off the side of the ledge pretty easily. It has this super long ledge on one side. Uh, so one side is flat, the other side is round. It's unfortunate that the round side is on the side that it's on because you can only really hit it bank to bank on the side where the round side is. And we'll get into that in a second. So I kind of wish it was kind of flipped around. It's super long, it's not easy to skate, but if you're able to lock in, it does feel really cool to hit. On the other side, there is a kicker to flat to bank. And that's what kind of upsets me about why that long grind ledge is not flipped around. I would like to skate the flat edge, but it's kind of difficult when you don't have a flat bank, you have a curved kicker to flat and then flat bank. Kind of sucks. It makes it way more difficult to skate that side. So I didn't skate that side at all. But if you're into that thing, then come on out here. I didn't touch the handrail because the handrail is super, super janky. I guess they decided not to fix that which I wouldn't expect them to, to fix it. I think it would be better that they just ripped it out because it's all bent up and it's crooked. It's just, it, no one skates it out here. You can get plenty of speed on this thing coming from one side of the park, the park where the mini ramp is, but the other side of the park, there's not a lot of run up and there's no quarter pipe or anything for you to get speed with that short of run up. So it's kind of difficult to hit from that side of the park, which is a downer. So that's why it kind of feels out of place because there's no, place to turn around on either side. There's no quarter pipe or anything like that. So definitely weird. All in all, it's definitely a unique park. It's like a weird hodgepodge of Woodward and Ark and, you know, just random assortment of things. I know this isn't a very big area. There are other skate parks nearby that I haven't hit. I know there's a concrete park that's not far from here that I do hope to hit eventually. Uh, but in a small community like this, I think it's a cool, fun, little unique place, especially to just do like small flat ground tricks and stuff like that. But that mini ramp definitely is the highlight and super fun to skate. If I lived around here, I'd come out here just to skate that mini ramp alone. It's in a nice little park area. You can just come up and skate. Plenty of parking, plenty of space. Every time I've come out here, there's only been a couple of people, so it doesn't seem like it's it's crazy populated, which can be good if you like to skate by yourself, uh, but bad if you like to have a whole community of skaters to be with. There's like a big field out here with a volleyball court and a racquetball court. So it's just a nice chill environment with a lot of open space and a lot of options. So if you're passing through from Orlando to Ocala, you wanna make a little pit stop, you can stop here to get a little chill session in or just keep on going and hopefully I'll get to cover all the other skate parks in this area. Thank you for checking out another episode of Skate Park Showcase. Really quickly, I just wanna give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. You guys are helping me stay on the road and I appreciate it greatly. If you would like to donate, just go to patreon.com slash parksharks. Now, if you do wanna support, but you can't support financially, there are other ways that you can support the channel mainly by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell so you know when all my videos get posted, but most importantly, just sharing this video with all of your friends. And that wraps it up for this small Central Florida park. Here's what's coming up next.